Well, good morning, everyone. Well, I'm going to say Happy New Year. It's December 30th. We're going to take a look at risk here for a second. Let's first get through the disclosures. Of course, prior success does not guarantee future performance. Print this and review this at your leisure. And on Sunday's swing trade notes, uh, my bias was towards 484, 488. We're not quite there. We're at 478 here. You know, the question is, do we get back to this box or do we get up to this 484? I would say that we've had a lackluster week for a Santa rally. That's sort of my thought there. Um, you know, so we're just going to rind in this range, I, I think, until we decide which direction we want to go. But I think ultimately then we come off. Um, whether that holds to the third week of January or not is yet to be seen, but that's my thought there. And my take on the NASDAQ was that we've come into risk off at some point this week, and we seem to have got it in the, you know, here today on Wednesday. So where might that take us? You know, I'm looking for about 401.20 is, is when we're pretty much there, so I don't think it'll be much deeper than where we are. Um, and, and then we'll just go from there. Um, but it could come all the way down to this 372. Just you know, keep that in mind. You know, whether or not this Santa rally continues or not is going to be yet to be seen. So I'm just sort of sitting on the sidelines with a couple of things, you know, seeing how it plays out at this point, because I don't have enough conviction, you know, to jump down and chase this 353 as an example. Now, as far as the Dow is concerned, you know, we're at a three. 6540, I think, about right now. And that 382 is at 366.94. And that's right where my counts are, 364.33 in that range. So we're a little above that. You know, so this flush might be in, you know, in play by the end of the week. Um, even though it's, you know, tighter over in this range, one thing with the counts is it doesn't necessarily give you a time duration. So, you know, our five is here. This was our three, this is our four, and that is our five. Now, if we push, I don't think we'll push above the 50%. So, you know, may, you know maybe selling a 375 would probably be a, a little safe if you wanted to put a piece onto the short side, if your bias was in that direction along with the count. Now, as far as IWM, you know, relative strength here, you know, those 223s and 222s work really well. You know, just staying tight and, you know, take my profits as they come. You know, we could really get going here. I, I mean, even if the market gets a little soft, you know, any back test to maybe 215, 217, you know, is, is a, a chance to add. Uh, you know, it's a gift as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, and then we'll be pushing towards that 255, you know, coming up first quarter, second quarter next year. Really, you know, we got a lot of push right here. Nice flag. You know, and, and so continuation. So my first visual here is this is a five, a three, and a five. So equality would put us up here around 161.8. This thing really gets going. So, you know, it's got a nice upside look here. You know, Kirk was white, right flagging this, you know, I don't know, maybe two months ago was when he first started talking about it, you know, uh, you know, being the lagger. You know, that was, that was a great thought. So, all right, let's take a look at uh, TLT. You know, the one thing about gaps is they negate what my plan was. So we gap down here on TLT. So, you know, I had a net next entry long at 145.87. So I'm waiting to see what this week's close brings, sort of sitting on the sidelines. But, you know, we are in a good spot to get a launch pad. The question is, I always think gap and go. So, you know, maybe we come back and back test this 144 towards my stop line. I want to see if this two holes before I jump long on this and, you know, try and chase this upside. Maybe, you know, I'm waiting for that run. This, to me, even though we're it's still inside this, you know, longer triangle. Hold on a second. Let me move the right line. All right, so we, we've got this extended triangle here and we still got some room there, sort of my thought. Uh, you know, now that we've pushed below that speed line that was there, you know, I put those there because they're sort of rules for me. It stays above the speed line. I have a reason to stay long. It gets below that speed line that I had there prior. 
um, you know, this line that I had here, um, you know, it's, it's a reason to take it short. You know, so we broke below that speed line. So that's my second reason. I want to sort of wait and see why, see which way we go, whether we push down and back test that 144. And well, that's it for this quick look uh, this week, uh, midweek uh, recap. And until next time, folks, great trading.